Hello, Chef here with another recipe for you. And what do we have here today? Oh, some really nice pears. These are Bartlett pears, and uh, they come from USA. It's the nicest pear I think you can get. Uh, but there's a ton of them out there, all different varieties, different uses. This one's good for poaching. The dilemma is you need to peel it. Got a nice sharp peeler here. Not easy to peel. You don't want your pears to be too underripe or hard. You don't want it to be too soft. So you got to pick something in the middle. So now that you got your pears, uh, you're going to uh, handle them very carefully. One of the things I like to do is remove the core. You don't want to eat those or serve those seeds. So I can see them right now. It's looking really good still intact then I can quickly give it a peel so uh, the peeler is the best tool for this you want to go very careful right up to the top of the pear That is a perfectly peeled pear right there. Uh -huh. Repeat with this one. Okay, the pears are now peeled. They're ready to go. They're looking really good. We need to get our poaching liquid together. So for poaching a pear, I recommend you use two cups of water, half a cup of sugar, and the reason for this is it's going to dissolve, it's going to reduce. Not too much sugar. Lemon, just a little bit of zest, like this you don't want to overpower the flavor of that awesome pear so I'm putting just a touch of zest on there and I'll put a little bit of juice as well and drop it right in that's plenty of lemon right there I'm gonna be adding uh, about a half a teaspoon of vanilla just like this uh-huh that's enough okay and this right here this is my poaching liquid. I like to give it a little stir. Get all those flavors going nice and even. Uh-huh. Oh, it's going to be good. I put my pears in like this. Okay. Uh-huh. And I'm going to be poaching these at a low temperature with a lid. Rotate the pears several times through the cooking process. Let them continue to simmer. Okay, and when the pears are done poaching, you notice that they're going to be nice and soft to the touch. And the liquid has reduced somewhat. I'm going to remove the pears now, let them cool, and reduce the liquid. Ah, the lemon reduction here. Reduced down to just a few tablespoons. Ah, the finished poached pears looking really, really good. I'm going to be plating them up here. I'd like one pair to be standing like this. Mm -hmm. They're nice because a little bit softer you can move them around. I've got this other pair, I'm going to cut this one up just a little bit. I'm going to take this other pair and do some real quick little uh, melon balls just for garnish. Kind of unusual. Uh huh. And I like it. One, two, three. Uh-huh. I'm also going to take just a small piece of the pear and uh, fan it out. Same thing, uh, three little slices like this. It's going to be coming off the pear right here. Okay, one, two, three. Of course, we have that awesome lemon syrup, the reduction in the pan that I showed you earlier. It's going to go all over the pear like this. Huh? I do prefer to serve the lemon as well. So lemon right there. I'm going to add a little bit of uh, chocolates to this pear. 
All right, this is a chocolate surprise here. One, two, three. And uh, it's looking good, but if that wasn't enough, I've got a couple more uh, chocolates here that are going to go on the plate. These are chocolate covered espresso beans. One, two, three. Yeah, it's looking pretty good, but I think we need one more thing. And that last thing, I'm going to put just a dusting of. Uh, cocoa powder across the pair like this uh-huh yeah that's the video thanks for watching please like share subscribe a great day oh please leave a comment tell me what you think about the poached pear and uh, yeah right there is the link if you're interested in uh, any of the cutlery that the chefs are using. It's great stuff. Uh, as well as the butcher block. Really, really good stuff. Super high quality. Try this recipe out. Have a beautiful day. Yeah. Oh, by the way, I know the sponsor's having a sale, and these stones are less expensive than anyone else on the internet, so you might as well save some money while you're at it. So, uh, check it out. Limited edition. The deal will be gone soon. And, uh, of course, there's a handy little brochure which shows you more of the Global Knives. And let me tell you, there's a ton of them, and chefs love them. You will, too. Look at all the different chef knives alone.